Welcome to week 11. Hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar Jamás no quería saber nada más, nunca más Pero vos apareciste Good morning, happy Monday Hope you guys had a great weekend And I hope your upcoming week turns out to be prosperous And amazing and healthy And all the good stuff that's what my hope is for you. All right, it's time to bring you back to Canadian Tire. I don't want to go out there. It's starting to snow. Three, two, one. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up. I can flip a dog to a million. I don't like to brag, but I'm really on three. Here we go. Canadian Tire. I don't, uh, it was bad enough the other day going. But this time, I actually got to go to customer service and go through an exchange process. That means dealing with more people. I don't really want to do that. How we got here doesn't make sense Have patience, that'll make sense Three, two, one Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up I could flip a dial to a million This trip to Canadian Tire almost never happened I was getting ready to go And put my boots on, put my jacket on Just had my hand reaching for the door and the phone rang and this was uh, my case manager from Veterans Affairs calling me. So, of course, that knocked the momentum out of getting out of the house because I sat down and chatted with her for 20 minutes to a half an hour. And anyway, she encouraged me to go back to Canadian Atari because I kind of hinted around that that's it, my momentum is done, I'm not going. But she was like, no, you should go. At least then you can tick another tick in the box. Feel good about yourself, about accomplishing something. Then we went into the whole discussion about how I don't feel a sense of accomplishment. I just feel a sense of like, yes, get it done, it's over with, get it out of my way. That's it, there's nothing else to it. So anyway, we had a good chat and uh, here I am. Way to Canadian Tire, so she uh, she got her way with me. I think Buddy went up my lane, and here we are. We made it to Canadian Tire. Yay! The wind picked up, that's for sure. Hold on to the door. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone. At least this time I know where the aisle is. Be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you did. And now I stand Successful! My new one. Step here, carving at 
didn't take long. I would have been out faster only for I had somebody trying to uh, get me to apply for a credit card and get discounts or something. But uh, I politely said no. I just wanted to do my exchange and get out of there. So that's what I did. Now, when will I put that thing on? That's the next question. Not today, because it's too much snow and I don't want to be sitting in the doorway with the door wide open. And be left alone once more You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore Mission accomplished Made it Now Go have a coffee Meditate for a little bit And read That's about all I got left in me today If that He's always waiting for me when I get home Aren't ya? What's up, buddy? No, not right now. Come on in. Winter's not over yet, is it, Rex? Why? Tomorrow, I think, is spring. We'll see. She's picking up quick. We're supposed to only get about 10 centimeters. Hopefully it all just melts and blows away. Oh look, 111, 111, slow series of ones again. And I'm pretty sure the last time I had those 111s, I was eating the banana as well because it's 111 in the afternoon and I haven't had any breakfast or lunch yet. I neglect myself when it comes to nutrition. So I'll eat this banana now to make myself feel better. Can't forget the dog. He did a pee, so every time he does a pee, we give him a treat. Nobody gives me a treat when I pee, Rex. Eh? Why is that? Why is it? Eh? I don't know either. It's not fair. Now, would you look at that crap?
Might as well come in my shed since I got it, right? Stay out of that crap, that mess that's falling out there now. It's cold, windy. I feel fairly confident I don't need to use this guy today. I think what's coming isn't going to be too much. Might not even have to use a shovel, which is good. See these nice tracks? They belong to my quad. It's stored at my brother's place. I haven't used these tracks in probably three years, I'm thinking. I'm seriously thinking about selling it anyway because I, I rarely use the bloody thing. Got a nice Can-Am, it's a 2017 I believe it is, and uh, barely used the thing. I think it's, uh, when I bought it, I imagine being gone all the time, out in the woods, enjoying nature. But I forgot that when you live in the city, every single time you want to go for a ride, you got to go and hook up the trailer, load it all up, figure out where you're going to go. And uh, that right there is enough to deter me from, from going. It's bad enough out at home where I'm familiar with the trails, but in here, I have no idea what the trails are, where they are. And uh, that's enough to keep me from uh, from using it so uh, you'll probably see it for sale fairly soon unless I get the urge to start riding it again in the spring which I doubt because motorcycle riding season is starting fairly soon once this uh, snow finally goes away having that lamp behind my head almost feels like I'm sitting on the deck we're on a beach somewhere with the sun shining on the back of my neck. It's nice, it's cozy.
good old Zappa clone and antidepressants before bed. Perfect. Not as good as peanut butter though. Anyway, good night. Good morning, Cowan Heights. Glad to see it's not snowing. I don't think I slept so well last night. I started off okay, but around four I woke up. Then again around five and then six and then 6.30 and 6.45 and seven and I kept going on and on. And I mentioned before, I am very sensitive to my sleep. So I need, I need my sleep. If not, I'm a monster. And uh, hopefully coffee will fix it up. But uh, I'm not going to be uh, in the best mood today. Uh, I know it. You can tell it's probably the hair too. Bedhead at 10.30. Time for coffee. I got it looking like a Christmas tree this morning. And I take the star. Nice medium roast. That'll be my coffee. Yeah. My Smuggler's Cove glass is clean. Oh, where? Where? I get a hoodie with a Smuggler's Cove logo as well. I'll wear this. I'll drink from this one now. They got this uh, design in the middle of the pond behind their uh, behind the restaurant. You should check it out. Smuggler's Cove. It's out in Bjorn. Morning appetizer. What do we have for breakfast? What do we have here? We got a little something for my sugars. A little something for my cholesterol. Got one for my IBS, and I forget what the other one is for. The other one is an anti-anxiety medication. That's what it was. Sure, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to try. We'll see how this goes. My mind is quite anxious today, so I'm not sure how successful I'll be. Plus I have this guy who's always staring at me when I'm doing things and it makes me feel uncomfortable. So uh, he's annoying me right now. <laughs> and the reason for that is because when I do tasks, I like to do them alone because I have this fear of judgment, of failure, of being critiqued. And uh, it, uh, it impacts my abilities, that's for sure. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I got all the parts because last time a box was missing two bolts. So I'm gonna double check that before I take any hardware off. So the other day when I took my parts out, I found this bolt, which I know goes in here but I seen these and I seen the screws and I just said oh they're just screws but if you look really close you can see there's actually two bolts in there so I went and returned and exchanged this set for nothing because the bolts are there I feel like an idiot Remove the handle. Hey, that worked. I'm starting to think I should open the door first before I start going any further. <laughs> and she's off. Let's see if I can get the other one back on. Last screw on this side. One last piece. Cover up that. How's that supposed to work? Hmm. Must be a piece missing. Well, I screwed up one part. I gotta take that screw back out because this piece 
is supposed to fit over somehow. And then that other piece snaps over the top of that. Fingers crossed, this was the problem. Is he snug on the outside? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's see. Try it again. It's got that little notch. Put that on the bottom so that way it looks more. Hmm. I'm gonna put my phone down. There, she's all done. She opens. This goes all the way in now. And she shuts easier. I did it. Good, I'm glad that's over with. This right here is the culprit of the door. You've probably seen these every time you install, install a doorknob. But if you look, I don't know if you can see it, really close in the center where it's like a, a C shape, you can see some of the metal is worn down. That's the reason the door would keep sticking and the uh, outside lever wouldn't be able to push this piece all the way in see learn something new every day now clean up all this mess i made half of these tools i didn't need i brought out the wrench set and all that stuff thinking i needed it didn't need that brought that drill didn't need that let's see how close the dog is paying attention I'm going to drop this bit of pork chop in his dish. Hmm. You must have heard it or that he's debating. Sometimes he's indecisive. Uh, he heard me. He got up. And he found it, didn't you? Hey. The Foo Fighters are my current favorite band. I uh, love them, listen to them a, a lot. Dave Grohl, I'm a huge fan of him, especially his uh, his character as a human being. He's, uh, he's a pretty good guy. The whole band are actually. But anyway, back to Foo Fighters. Guess what? I finished another book. All done. 446 pages. My favorite author. Good morning, Cowan Heights. Nice looking day, but that's deceiving. It's windy. It looks cold. Today is also Ketamine Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. I've changed now from Thursdays to Wednesdays from now on. So today I complete my 15th session, I believe. This is uh, week 11. This is dragging out over quite a period of time, pretty much the entire winter. While we're in the spring now, Today's the first day of spring, yes. Now, if only the weather would warm up a bit and get rid of that snow so I can get my motorcycle going. After this much time, well, even from day one, people have been asking how I felt. And it's kind of 
hard to explain because I don't know if I feel anything. That's the thing. I'm not sure if the ketamine is working yet or not. I really honestly don't know. I don't feel anything spectacular that happened or anything that's significant or that's noticeable other than playing with my camera in the house every day it tends to kind of ground me a bit and make me a bit settled which is probably why I seem a little bit more relaxed and calm on the camera lately it's because I've been doing it every day so I'm not sure what to what's ketamine and what's not. It's uh, still too soon to tell, apparently. So my psychiatrist said that I still have a few weeks left. And if that doesn't work, they're gonna inject it in me through, uh, through intravenous. Fun. Since I finished up my Stephen King book, two now in the last little while, this is the next one on my list. It's only a little short one, The Giver. I bought this years ago, meaning to read it when one of my kids were doing it in school, but I, I just never got through it. So I figured it's a nice little short, maybe an easy read, something to uh, boost my reading confidence again. So let's see what this one's about. Look at that. It's not 11-11. It is time to eat, though, because I only have 10 more minutes to eat. And then I have to fast for a couple hours before my appointment. I mentioned that enough times. So today's treat, another heavenly hunk. They're simple, just something to hold me over until I'm finished my treatments. You know I'm leaving you, don't you? Hi. Only for a couple hours. There's my right. The favorite part, questionnaires every time. It looks pretty with my Tic Tacs. In my headphones, I'm listening to Deciduous Forest. I think I might just imagine myself sitting right there because that looks like a perfect spot. Maybe I'll see if we can go there for our next treatment. I'll sit there and take my ketamine. Third dose is in, so that means it's time to shut my eyes and just enjoy the sounds of nature while I imagine myself on that lake. No cab yet. Well, that one's all done. Down waiting for my cab and I'm wondering if I should have waited upstairs for five more minutes. I'm feeling pretty, uh, still feeling the effects actually. Looks like my ride. Well, at least you're happy to see me. Uh -huh. You happy for me? She's gonna have to be black this time. 
my cream is all gone. No. Not used to drinking my coffee black anymore. I usually have cream in it. Oh, I miss my cream right now. I'm starting to think that I'm building a tolerance to the ketamine because today's session, I didn't feel like I went as deep as I usually do with the other sessions. Um, I don't know how to explain this unless you've actually experienced it yourself. It's, uh, you disassociate, like you feel like you're no longer you, you're outside, you're kind of reflecting back and looking in on yourself. And you just go into this, you get lost in, in these little rooms, uh, little spaces in your head. Sounds weird, I know, I'm trying to explain it. Because when I close my eyes during a ketamine session, there's, there's a lot of times I feel like I'm in this, almost like an igloo, like surrounded by almost like a stucco. I'm saying stucco because my ceiling, oops, uh, my ceiling, my ceiling is stucco. But it kind of reminds me of being encased in almost like an ice cave, an igloo or something like that. And, and while I'm in there, I'm able to connect with parts of my mind that I usually don't. Certain things tend to um, fade away that, uh, like negative things that I experience on a constant basis, they tend to fade away. And, uh, and you just kind of sit there and it's almost a, like a blissful kind of a feeling. And today I didn't get as deep as I usually do. It's like I was fully aware of everything going on around me. I could hear the staff doing their thing. I could, uh, I, I'm thinking about stuff I gotta do. I'm thinking about stuff I needed to do. Thinking about things that drive me crazy. And so it wasn't, um, it wasn't probably the most perfect session. But it's still, I still got something out of it, no doubt. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I couldn't say that without laughing. I always think about that Molson Canadian commercial, is it? No doubt about it. Something like that. But, um, but yeah, even so, the like the nurse practitioner said, like just because you don't get in that deep disassociated state doesn't mean that the ketamine is not doing its work. So <clears throat> those are the words I'm going to stick to and I'm going to hang on to and hopefully they're correct because I haven't uh, really seen a lot of improvement or impact from the ketamine yet. But it's still soon, still time to tell. I know, still a few more sessions to go. But anyway, speaking of going, I'm going to go now and uh, end this video. Thanks again very much for uh, tagging along and then inspiring me, inspiring me to keep going actually, because there's a lot of times I wanted to quit, but I'd be thinking, ah, I gotta, I gotta make another video. So I should go and get some kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not why, but I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate the comments and feedback and, uh, and just knowing all these imaginary people are out there somewhere kind of, uh, helps uh, helps push me along and inspire me, motivate me, keep me afloat, help me fake it until I make it. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.